there is a lot to see and do here is an understatement. I know, and if you fancy a little history of the island, well, we are taking you to a place now where you get that and so much more. Fishing, sunsets, and bars, all things that America's southernmost city is known for. And when life is this good, it's probably important to know where it all began. One of the coolest things here is probably uh, the connection to the Civil War and how being um, the only place below the Mason-Dixon line that actually was a Union stronghold for, for a number of years, well, actually for the entirety of the war. Settled in 1821, Key West has always had a strong military presence. The military's been here since the island was founded. They're really the ones who took over because we have a natural deep water harbor. So it allowed uh, particularly the Navy to come down here first and use it. And since they've been down here in the 1820s, they've never left. Their influence has been here consistently. And when visiting some of Key West's historical sites, like the Little White House, where President Truman vacationed, or Ernest Hemingway's house, a stop at the lighthouse is a must. It's actually one of the only lighthouses not right on the water. So the first one was actually built on the waterfront but it was made of wood and we had a big hurricane in the 19th century of course being where we are and so they decided to move it further inland and build it higher than the original one so it would still project out uh, as far but uh, be in a safer position. And to this day, 88 steps to the top, it's one of the prettiest and tallest views of paradise you can find.